Hi and welcome back. So this is getting exciting now. We've started to get something that actually it looks like something. So this is when it gets the most fun. So we want to be able to click on one of these and access the posts for that blog. So evidently when we are accessing the blogs of one po of, sorry the posts of one blog we want to to access them. So just in the same way as we need the user ID in order to be able to access the blogs of a specific user, we need the blog ID to access the posts of a specific blog. So let's create another route, sorry, another route here. I keep switching between the American and, and, and English pronunciations of that, and I'm really sorry. Um, I am not a native, so as you know. So I'm going to create another route here called posts slash string blog ID and in this case it doesn't really make sense to have one without the blog ID because posts are never going to be without a blog so you may access your own blogs in which case you don't want to put your own user ID there but you're never going to access a separate post from a blog so all posts have a blog ID associated with them Okay, and then we'll define um, blog posts and then blog ID is the parameter. And what we'll do is we'll find the blog with that ID and then we'll say from Mongo blog ID. And then we will say posts equal blog dot get posts down here we'll need to import blog as well okay so now we've got the posts and if we go to our post model here we can see what sort of info the post has a blog ID a title content author created date and an ID okay so if we go to the blog oh, sorry something happened there I think my laptop went a bit mental we can see that the get posts calls the post dot from blog method and then the post from blog simply finds the posts with that blog ID so that's exactly what we want and then what we'll do is simply return render template is a posts dot HTML where the posts is that list of posts that we just found and we will also need a blog name equal to blog dot title and I'll change that to blog title so now we're going to show a page that shows the blog title at the top and then the list of posts below it so we'll create that template now let's go and create a new HTML file called posts dot HTML copy everything from user blogs paste it there and now instead of emails blogs we simply want to show blog title up there in H2 and instead of for blog in blogs we want to say for post in posts that would make sense remember you can call this variable whatever you want I will say post dot title and post dot content so if we go to our post model again we'll see that title and content are the correct variables and at the very bottom, I'm actually going to put another P called post.author, just so we know who the author is. Okay, so let's do that. And of course, in order to be able to do this, we need some sample data in the database. So um, the first thing to do is to check that the website actually works by going into the posts and we don't have an ID so we can't actually check until we do have an ID in there so we have a few posts here and all of them are using object ID as you can see which means they are old posts so we're going to remove them all and instead we're going to insert our own 
So the underscore ID is going to be one, two, three. Doesn't matter, that's just a sample. And then the going back to PyCharm, need to find exactly what the post is made of. It is a blog ID. So blog underscore ID is going to be one of my blogs. So say for example this one up here. The title is going to be sample post. The content is going to be lorem ipsum. And if you don't know what lorem ipsum is, um, you can Google that. And created date is going to be one of these ISO dates here that I'm going to copy. And I think that's it. There's probably author missing as well. Blog ID, title, content, created date has to have quotation marks around it. And the author is missing as well. So author is going to be Jose. Okay, so we've inserted one, so we can go back into Chrome, refresh this, and of course we can't click on it just yet. We haven't added that functionality in, so I'm going to go into the terminal, find the ID of the post, and go to posts slash one, two, three. And then we've got a small error here. So we have to find out exactly what the problem is. And indeed, the blog from Mongo, so this ID here should actually be the blog ID and not the post ID. So sorry about that. And there we have our blog title and the first post, the content and the author here. Okay, so how would we click on it and access the link? Well, that's actually fairly simple. If we go into the user blogs.html, we've got our h3, which is the title. That's this. And then what we want to do is ensure that we can click on it and go somewhere. So in order to click something, we use another HTML element, which is A, which stands for anchor. And that's the way it goes. So A, href, and then closing tag at the end. Remember to put the closing tags appropriately enclosed by the h3. And the href here has to be slash posts slash blog blog dot underscore id. So let's refresh that and now notice how they've turned blue and clicking it actually takes us to the right place. Clicking this one takes us to something that has no content. All right, so that's how you would display the list of posts. And now we're going to work on being able to click this and show that there are no posts, but we're going to do that in the very next video. So I'll see you there.